Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It videos every single Wednesday where I am talking about some new makeup releases and launches, letting you know a little bit about them, then also letting you know if I'm going to pick them up or if I'm going to pass over them. I started it as a spin-off to the Anti Haul, which was created by Kimberly Clark. I'll have her channel listed down below. I was starting to do Anti Hauls and then I thought, you know what, I just wanna put my own spin on them. So I started the Will I Buy It series as a way to be able to talk about new releases. When I was starting, I was basically getting no PR. I do get a few packages here, here and there now, which is super, super exciting. I wanted to start it as a way to still be able to talk about the new releases without feeling the need to buy all of them because I'm simply not in the position to be able to go out and buy every new release. And then another reason I started it, I took inspiration from the anti-haul and the idea behind the anti-haul that Kimberly Clark had in mind. And again, just want to put my own spin on it of talking through makeup purchases because a lot of times with makeup I'm totally there you know something releases we're so excited about it there's a ton of hype I just go ahead and buy it and then I get it and I think I didn't actually need that I just wanted to slow down the buying process think about it think it through think if I need it and I have to say from doing the will I buy it I have definitely been able to talk myself out of a lot of products that I might have just went ahead and purchased anyways and I know a lot of you guys say that same thing so it makes me really happy and the will I buy it have made you slow down and think things through and that just makes me so happy those comments mean so much to me um, so I thought I would do a quick explanation of the will I buy it series I was having a chat with a subscriber in last week's video I think it was and she was kind of saying she thought this was going to be a review video I was saying that the will I bite videos are not meant to be review type of videos at all um, they're meant to be more of talking through the shopping process seeing someone else's thoughts when it comes to buying makeup because I find it interesting I find all of your guys' comments interesting and just a reminder that we don't need to buy all of the makeup out there and let's only buy the things that we truly truly want or that we actually do need for our collections so I'm really grateful that you guys have been loving the Will I Buy It series so much. I do have a playlist, so I will leave that link down below. In addition to my Wednesday Will I Buy It, I post on Thursdays, Sundays, and Mondays, so I hope that you will subscribe so you can get notified for my future videos. And without further ado now, why don't we go ahead and jump into this week's Will I Buy It. So I was getting some tags on some new releases from Becca Cosmetics. So Becca Cosmetics is coming out with new Light Chaser highlighters and also liquid crystal glosses. I believe these both are going to be limited edition. So there's several shades for the highlighters and then also the lip products as well. I will have some photos inserted in here like I normally do. I will also leave the Trend Mood Instagram listed down below as well because a lot of times I'm getting information from her Instagram page. So in my Will I Buy It's every week, I do also list the Trend Mood uh, Instagram page. So it says these are online at Sephora. They are available now, so I will have them linked down below as long as they are not sold out. I can say right off the bat, I'm not gonna get the lip glosses because they are very like holographic type looking lip glosses and I'm just not into that. I know that is what is super on trend right now. Like I understand holographic is on trend, mermaids and unicorns and all that. And it's just not really a trend for me. They're just not super my style, like what I would do on a daily basis or even like somewhat regular basis. It's just for like if I want to do something really outside my comfort zone for fun, then I could hit that kind of trend up. But for me to like pad my collection with stuff that I just know I'm not going to get a ton of use out of, it's just not a very smart purchase. Again, that's what the series is all about. I'm trying to make the best, smartest purchases that we can when it comes to makeup. So I just know for the lip glosses, they are just totally not going to be for me. The highlighters, they do look really beautiful, but I've been saying in my past Will I Buy It videos that my makeup collection is like overflowing with highlighters. I have so many. I do not need any more. I've been trying to put myself on a highlight no buy. I love Becca highlights and I think they are so pretty, but I definitely don't need another one at this time, especially in comparison to the rest of um, my makeup collection. So they look really pretty, but again, I'm reading that it's limited edition, so I I just, I don't love limited edition either. If it's not something that I truly need and it's limited edition, I'm not even gonna bother like trying to talk myself into it. So I'm not gonna get these new releases from Becca Cosmetics. The highlights do look super pretty. Lip gloss is totally not for me. The highlights look very pretty and I like that they come in a variety of different shades for different skin tones or what you look for in your highlights, but 
I just don't need them. I don't see the prices in this post right off the bat, so I'll have those in the description box down below. As I do post everything and link everything in the description box. Everything that I'm talking about will be linked. Um, usually I try to link all of my makeup in there as well in case you are ever curious what is on my face. I have all that in the description box, so make sure you check it out. But I'm passing over these new releases from Becca Cosmetics. Let us know in the comments what you are getting. Have you already picked up something from the new lip glosses and highlighters where you're super excited about it? Or were you kind of like me and it just wasn't a collection for you? Let us know in the comments. I also got a few tags on a collaboration between Itsy Beauty and Love for Lacquer. So Love for Lacquer, who I believe is a YouTuber, um, did a collaboration with Itsy Beauty, and that's I-T-T-S-E. I remember the first time I ever heard of Itsy, I thought people were saying Ipsy, like the Ipsy bag, and I was getting very confused, but they're they are two separate brands. So the collaboration that came out includes three highlighters and then also one blush. It's $35 for the quad, or you can spend $50 to get the bundle, and it includes a palette, like a magnetic palette to put them in. So right off the bat, like I love the packaging. It looks beautiful, this kind of like coral and gold. I think it looks really pretty. I was seeing quite a few of my friends on Snapchat. They did get it in PR. And so I was looking at the shades and I was looking at the swatches and I thought everything looked really beautiful and was swatching really beautiful. With that being said, I have never purchased anything from Itsy. I remember I came close a couple times because I believe they've done collaborations with Coffee Break with Danny and then also Michelle from Ready Set Glamour. And I almost bought both of their um, collaborations, but I never did. I believe that you only get Itsy on their website. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong or if I see something differently online, I'll have it in the description box, but I believe they are just available on the Itsy site. So with that being said, $35 for four items, products, is pretty pricey to me, especially because three of them are going to be highlighters. And like I just said, I don't need highlighters. I might have been more convinced to buy this if it was three blushes in a highlight instead because I've really been on like the blush train lately. Like I've been wanting to get more blushes for my collection um, and I'm, you know, not trying to buy highlights. So maybe if it was flipped, I'd consider it. I don't think that you can buy these individually. I think you do have to buy them in the collection. You just don't have to buy the magnetic palette with it, but you can spend the 50 to get the palette if you want. So it's just not something that I need for my collection right now. And it's going to be a little bit too pricey. I do enjoy enjoy collaborations with you know youtubers and instagrammers and just other beauty influencers but i you know i definitely am not able to support every single person's collaboration out there that's just not possible and i'm actually not familiar with a love for lacquer and i know I, I feel like i say in so many videos that i'm not familiar with people but i really am very new to the youtube game i started watching youtube probably like six months before i started a channel um i didn't even like i knew youtube was there but I didn't really get it. Like I'm getting to know more and more people and especially through you guys and through your comments, I've been finding so many more people to watch and that I've made a friends with, which I'm super grateful for, but I'm actually just, I'm not familiar with Love for Lacquer. So, you know, also not knowing the collaborator doesn't make me have a huge pull to buy something with a brand I'm unfamiliar with products I don't need and spending more than I would want to. So I am passing over this collaboration with Love for Lacquer and Itsy Beauty, but I would love to know in the comments down below, have you guys gotten this? Were you totally drawn to this collaboration? Do you love Love for Lacquer and should I be watching her? Like, let me know what you guys think. Cause again, I really do trust a lot of your guys' opinions and I found really good other YouTubers to watch, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you got it, if you passed over it and your thoughts on the collaboration. So this week's video, it was really tough because normally for my Willy Bites, I'm talking about four separate items or collections and I kind of go, I start from what I got the least amount of requests of and work my way up. And the fourth product that I talk about in these videos is the one that was the most requested for this week. These two were really freaking close. Uh, so the first one I'm going to talk about is from Urban Decay. But you guys didn't know they were coming out with a new release, huh? My Instagram was like blowing up for like three days straight. It's insane how excited you guys were. 
over the Naked Heat palette. So Urban Decay Cosmetics, I think they're coming out with a full collection. Yes, they're coming out with the Naked Heat collection, but everybody's been asking me about the eyeshadow palette. It took me like a full day to realize that there was other items with this collection because I was only getting sent photos of the eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadow palette's $54. They are also gonna have three Vice lipsticks and two Glide On eye pencils, but I'm just talking about the eyeshadow palette here. It says June 12th is going to be a pre-sale on their website first for Beauty Junkie members. The official launch will be June 30th. It'll be online at Sephora, Ulta Beauty July 10th and in stores July 13th. So let's chat about this one because I know a lot of you guys were very excited. So I do not have a ton from Urban Decay. I've talked about Urban Decay in past Billy Buy videos. I've said that I don't have a ton from them. They have always been a brand that just hasn't like screamed my name for whatever reason. Um, so I've just never bought a ton from them. I do have the Naked Smoky palette and I really, really enjoy it. My brother-in-law actually got it for me for Christmas and I've had a really good time with that palette and it definitely made me enjoy the Naked palettes. They seem like great palettes. I know a lot of people talk very highly about the Naked palettes. And I've always kind of felt like a bad beauty blogger that I didn't have the Naked palettes, but that's just what it is what it is. I can't have them all. So, the Naked Heat, it looks like it looks like a palette that I could fall in love with, right? Like the colors are beautiful, nudes, reds, plums. I mean, it looks the name says it all, like Naked Heat. It looks heat, fire. Like that's what this palette reminds me of, and it looks gorgeous. It definitely to me screams more fall than it does summer. I don't know if anyone else thinks that, but like to me, my eyes are like, that is a good fall palette. $54, that's pretty expensive to me. Um, I know the Naked palettes are usually up there. That's kind of pricey for a palette. I normally try to stay more in like the $30, $40 is usually getting pretty high. So $54, like that's, that's quite a bit of money. I don't know. This one I'm really torn about. I really am. I would like to get it because I feel like really that this is one of the first naked palettes that really caught my attention. It definitely made me do a double take for sure. 100%. I say in my Will I Buy It videos, if products don't make me do a double take, I don't even want to entertain the idea of getting them. Just move on to the next product because there's so much makeup out there. It definitely made me do a double take because the shades just are so me. They're so beautiful and I think it's a gorgeous palette but the price is getting to me. It really is. It's just a lot of money to spend on an eyeshadow palette and I'm I'm pretty I try to be pretty conscious of my money especially when it comes to spending it on makeup because I have a lot of makeup. You know a lot of these things it's not like oh I need that. It's I want that and I'm trying to decide if want is good enough for $54 um, because I feel like too, even looking at the swatches, I feel like I have a lot of similar shades and like my Morphe 350, even my Anastasia Modern Renaissance, um, you know, palettes like that. I feel like I would probably have like somewhat decent similar shades to what I'm seeing in this palette. But I also am saying recently that I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to get outside my comfort zone when it comes to brands. I'm trying to try more brands. And even though I have tried Urban Decay in the past, I only have one palette from them and I didn't even buy it myself. I got it as a gift. So I'm trying to decide if I should do it. Can you tell that I'm torn? I really am because I, I do, I want this, I want it. I want this palette. And I think I'm gonna get it. I think I've like talked myself into it in this video. I think I did it. I think I talked myself into it. I really do love the shades in there. They look really nice and I hear good things about the Urban Decay eyeshadows. I hear good things about their formulas. They clearly do something right if they have so many different naked palettes and people really seem to enjoy them and keep buying them. It makes me think that this would be okay to purchase. And if I can wait till it comes to, you know, Sephora or Ulta and get some points and use my Ebates and all that stuff, you know, knock a few dollars off and maybe it'll make it a little bit better. It looks like it also comes with a double-ended brush. Is that double-ended brush? I can't tell from that photo, but it comes with a brush. I think I'm gonna try to get it. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think it's not worth it? Let me know if you're excited for this one because I feel like I know a lot of you are because I got so many tags on it, but let me know if you're thinking about getting it or try to talk me out of it because you guys have talked me out of makeup purchases before. When I've said I'm gonna buy something in a Will I Bite video, your comments talked me out of it, so anyone wants to talk me out of a $54 eyeshadow palette, like be my freaking guest. As of right now, I'm leaning on getting it. Would you guys want to see a review video on it? So you guys know if it's worth the $54. Let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts here.
give it to me. So if the Urban Decay palette wasn't the most requested, what in the world could have been the most requested product to talk about in this week's Will I Buy It video? Did you guys know that Jaclyn Hill's coming out with a new palette with Morphe brushes? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this palette really has been requested since we first found out that Jacqueline was coming out with a palette with Morphe brushes. People have been asking me to include it in a Will I Buy It video, and I've kept having to respond and be like, well, I need to wait to see the palette. You know, I have no idea. And now we have finally seen the palette. I know there was a lot of craziness going on with this release, and to me, it's just disappointing because I feel like there's so many people out there that want to create drama where there is no drama or if there is a little bit of drama, they just want to expand on it and make it the biggest thing ever. I'm not here to talk about the drama because I legit just don't care and it means nothing to me. It does not affect my life in any way. The only thing that I'm worried about is am I going to buy this palette or am I not going to buy this palette? So the palette from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Brushes. It is launching on June 21st. There's gonna be 35 custom shades. It's gonna be $38. Looking at the palette, I mean, to me, it's definitely a Jaclyn Hill palette. I've been reading that people are saying that the Morphe um, formula is supposed to be amped up for this palette. If the formula is anywhere near what is in the 35R palette, which is one of the more recent Morphe releases, I would be so happy. If it's better than the 35R, I would be like out of this world happy because I love the formula that is in the 35R palette. It's the best formula that I've tried out of the Morphe brushes palettes and I just think it's absolutely incredible. The 35R is one of my favorites. So I know some people don't like Morphe. I do. I am one who loves Morphe. I have a lot of their makeup. I have a lot of their palettes. I have a ton of their brushes and and I like them. I'm not affiliated with Morphe. I don't have a discount code. Morphe doesn't know who I am and that's fantastic. I can still like a brand and still recommend a brand if I truly enjoy them and if I would truly recommend them, I can still do that. So for me, I enjoy Morphe and I like their makeup and I like their brushes. Like I said, I do like Jaclyn Hill. When I first saw the palette, of course I did the double take. Like obviously I did like a quadruple take and I do love the palette. I don't know if maybe I was expecting something else. I'm not sure. I'm not even gonna talk about the cake because I don't even feel like I looked at the cake when it came out. So I really did not know what to expect. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting from the palette, but maybe it wasn't 100% this, but still that doesn't mean that I wasn't excited for it because I see a lot of shades in here that I totally would use and that I think that I would love. And I think I would really get on with these shades. So I think that's great. The only thing that I don't love is the price because it's $38 and I'm like, I kind of thought that it would probably be more than the regular Morphe palettes, um, which usually run for like $22.99. So I was like, maybe it'll be like $25 or $28. And then when we got hit with $38, I was like, huh? That kind of came out of left field and I don't really know. I don't know if we've got like an explanation for why the price is so high because that to me is really legitimately high for a Morphe palette. And I know people will be like, but it's 35 shades. Yeah, but so is the 35O, the 35T, the 35R, that's the, they're 35 shades. That's why they're what they're called. And those are $22. So why is this 38? That is extremely expensive to me. And that is really the only part like if it was $32, 30, $32, I would say yes right away. Like 38 is making me actually reconsider this because I I don't know. I don't uh, I just don't really like that. I I don't like that a brand is affordable. They're known for being affordable yet still having good products in my opinion. And then they do a collaboration with a YouTuber and it is almost the double of the price of what a palette would normally run for. I don't really appreciate that and it kind of is a little, it just is leaving me with a bad taste in my mouth. Does anybody else feel that way or you know, do you just not care like the price isn't important to you? And like I understand that it is a collaboration and usually collaborations are a little bit more with any company out there. Usually if they are doing some sort of collab, it's like two to like eight dollars more I would say I don't know I literally usually see like two to four dollars is what I see when um, collaborations come out compared to regular releases so for $38 I had to really stop and think about this one because that's pricey man that's pricey for a Morphe palette <sighs> with that being said <laughs> 
with that being said, I think I'm still going to do it. And then this is where I kind of get caught up in, I feel like I should only get one or the other. I should only get the Urban Decay or I should only get the Morphe. I, should, I just don't feel like I should need to buy two eyeshadow palettes right around the same time. I just don't think I should do it, especially for two higher priced palettes, 54 versus 38. So it kind of makes me want to reconsider the Urban Decay because that's even more money. I might, I might now, I might now retract what I said about Urban Decay now that I'm thinking it through. Again, the spoiler the will I buy it. I'm thinking it through and I'm like, maybe I should not, you know, let's forego the $54 eyeshadow palette. Let's buy the $38 eyeshadow palette. I might have to do that because I don't know if I can really justify getting two at the same time. I've just been sent some like amazing packages and gifts from my subscribers and a lot of them include eyeshadow palettes and I still, like I'm trying so hard to work my way through them and I'm really struggling. So... Like, why would I buy two eyeshadow palettes if I don't think I'd be able to get the correct use out of them? So, that's kind of where I'm at. I have a feeling a launch day for the Morphe palette is going to be an absolute disaster. It's giving me Carly Bible, BH Cosmetics flashbacks already. Um, so, I feel like there's really no guarantee for either palette, really, that I would get them. But I feel like the Morphe release day is going to be quite the hot mess. But I think I'm still going to get it. Like I said, I do enjoy Morphe. I hate that I feel like I have to defend myself for liking a brand. People are just so strange about it, but um, Morphe is a brand that I've been buying for since before I had my YouTube channel. I continue to buy from them. I have no affiliation with them, anything like that. I purchase from them very often. I really like their stuff. I believe in their quality. And I really do like Jaclyn Hill. She was one of the very first YouTubers I've ever watched. Um, she kind of can remind me of myself sometimes when she talks about like starting from the bottom. Because let me tell you, I started from the bottom. So um, I get a lot of like motivation from her when she talks about her past and what she's overcome and what she's been through. And I, I like to support YouTubers that I really feel a connection with. And Jaclyn Hill is definitely one of those. So I would love to be able to support in that way. I just sincerely wish the price was not what it was because it just leaves me with a really, really bad taste in my mouth, but I think that I will still try to get the palette. I've been really excited for it since knowing that she was coming out with a collaboration with Morphe and knowing that I like the Morphe palettes and knowing that I like the shades in there and that I would get a lot of use out of them um, makes me want to do it. So now I'm kind of on the fence about Urban Decay. If the Jaclyn palette wasn't coming out, I'd still say yes to the Urban Decay, but now I'm going to have to think about it a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think I just need both of them? Do you? Do you? Do you think I need both of them? Or do you think that I shouldn't get the Morphe one, I should get the Urban Decay? I would just love to know your thoughts, because seriously, your guys' comments help me out so much. We have so many conversations in the comments, and I always appreciate it. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to get this palette. Let me know if you didn't like the price either, what your thoughts are about that. Um, just let me know what you're thinking about the collection, because I'd love to know your thoughts and if you're going to get this. But uh, after that, that's going to be the final product that I'm talking about in this week's Will I Buy It? Alright guys, so that's going to be everything for this week's Will I Buy It video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or entertaining in some way. I feel like I was on the struggle bus so with this Will I Buy It video. This one was really difficult for me. A lot of times in my Will I Buy It's like, you know, sure I see that products are coming out, but a lot of times I don't sit down and really think about it until I come on camera because I want you to see a genuine thought process when it comes to buying makeup and that it shouldn't just be like, oh that palette came out, boom getting it. I want you to see the actual process and sometimes it's not super simple. Sometimes it can be like last week, like with Tarte. You guys were like, that was so funny how fast you flew through those Tarte items. Sometimes it's not always going to be this way and I kind of struggled a lot with the Urban Decay and the Jaclyn. Um, so I would love to know your guys' feedback down below if you guys struggle like me um, when it comes to making your makeup decisions. But it definitely is a lot of money to spend on makeup and you know, I just try to be smart about my purchases and you know it's kind of what inspired this whole will i buy it series so um i like you to get the actual will i buy it process not just me talking about it and saying yes or no so um i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i really appreciate that you guys are loving the will i buy it series as much as you are and as always leave me some comments down below let me know what you thought of all the products in this week's video also let me know what you want to see in next week's will i buy it video you can leave me some comments here you can send them to me on snapchat twitter or also instagram my handles are always listed in the description box down below but thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you will give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it i also hope that you will consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye!